told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Furutech. I have tested lots of custom ROM till the date for the OnePlus 6 from the date when the first Android 12 best custom ROM cyber OS came. I was searching for the best custom ROM till the date but I think my search is over now. I am using this Android 12 L best custom ROM by the Optimus Prime from the last one week which is live example of best performing ROM with the heavy customizations that I never seen in any ROM. It has good battery backup, amazing gaming experience, its unique look and the weekly support by the amazing developer Optimus Prime. That makes this ROM my favorite contender in the game of ROMs. Today in this video, we will see how to upgrade via OTA, all the basic checks for the what's working, the unique customization options with the amazing look of the ROM, its performance with the battery overview, small bug and my final verdict. So watch the video till then, now without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure. I was using the Rise Droid 3.5 version from the last one week and we got the new update on the 4th of the August version 4.0. But after creating this video we got another build of Rise Droid 4.5 so I updated the download link in the video description. But here I will review the version 4.0 which is almost same as the version 4.5 with the minor changes. So if you are on the Rise Droid you will get the notification of this update in the OTA you can download it within the OTA and then flash it. Or you can download the update first from the link given under the video description and then use the local update option available under the OTA 3 dot menu and then flash the update. But using this process you may lose the TWRP recovery. So I flashed the update zip by TWRP and then install the TWRP while install current TWRP using the advanced option. Then reboot it to the system without wiping the data. This is called as the dirty flash. As Rise Droid is based on the C Android and the Lineage OS but the looks and the features are of Pixel ROMs, we will get the Pixel Boot animation but with the touch of the material you design as per the type of wallpaper available on the home screen. So we finally booted to the Amazing Sushi Launcher home screen of the ROM with the new wallpaper. Actually I really liked this wallpaper. If you go to the about phone, we will see the new look of this ROM. It will show you the about phone menu with the ROM version and the sweet ROM logo which is now upgraded to the go to 4.0 pixel version. If you tap on the rise Droid device tab, we will guess the, all the specification of device like its processor, storage, battery and the display details with the currently running wallpaper peak at the top of the setting. Below it's mentioned that this ROM is officially supported weekly by the Optimus Prime Akavikas. Weekly support is one of the key to use this ROM as a daily driver. This is the Android 12 L base ROM with the new Android 12 L easter egg, Rise Droid version is go to 4.0 pixel. When we repeatedly tap on it, we redirects to the YouTube with the one popular song. Security patch is of July 2022, build date of this ROM is 4th August. Kana version is Primus 4.9.258. As I switched back one week before from the Cherry Shows to the Rise Droid, I checked all the basic things like the Wafa Wafa hotspot with the 2.5 and the 5 was working very good. NFC and GPS location is also working good. I connected my Oppo Ecno M31 Bluetooth earphones and they are working with the SBC, ACC and the LDAC codex. Alas slider is working with the notification that the stock Oxynos offers. Fingerprint is working and it's enough fast. Auto brightness is working, dual sims with the whole LT incoming and the outgoing calls are working along with the call recording. Google Photos Unlimited Photo Backup is available. ROM comes with the normal Google Cam which is taking very good quality pictures but it doesn't have any advanced setting. So use the Google Cam MGC stable build. Here most of the things are working like the night sight, portrait mode for the front and the back camera. In the video recording slow motion is not working, it's causing the force close of camera application. But time lapse is working very good. Panorama and the photosphere both are working good. 4K 60fps is not working but other features like the HDR advanced modes are working very well. ROM is passing the safety net so we can use all the banking related application without the issue in the ROM. But the DRM info showing the security level as a L3 so we can't watch the Netflix and the Amazon Prime videos at the full HD resolution. ROM is encrypted so you don't have to worry about the data even if your device got stolen. I tested all the sensors like the fingerprint, gyroscope, magnetometer ear speaker proximity multi touch all the things are working now it's time to overview the amazing customization that this rom offers there is a separate tab in the setting called as the customizations 
Here we will get the about us tab which has the details of the ROM on which it is based. ROM is based on the Lineage OS and Android with the summarizing in the codes to get the best performance and the amazing customization. That's why it is called as the Rise Droid. Now I will only discuss the new and the main customizations available in the ROM. Let's check out the first customization in the Miscellaneous tab. Here we get the game space similar to the Oxonus 12. It has the new Danmaku notification option in the setting. I will show you that next in the video. First check out the overlay of the game space. I checked out the game space overlay by manually adding the Google Keep app in the game space. Similar to the old ROMs who gaze the overlay which has the screenshot and the screen recording tab. We also gaze the performance standard and battery modes, screen refresh rate, screen stay awake, notification modes, lost screen gesture tabs. Instead of this there is a system info at the top of the panel which has the time, CPU load, CPU temperature and the battery left details. So here is a Danmaku notification which are shown in the transparent background on the top of the setting for the short time without interrupting your games. Under the navigation tab we get the pixel animation for the two buttons or the three button navigation system. In the user interface setting we get the toggle to enable the dual tone look of the setting. In the setting style we get the bunch of the new settings to choose which is completely overall the look of your settings. Here are some settings I tried that I liked most. In user interface we get the monet theming option which has the new toggle as the vivid monet shades. If we enable this tab we get some bright colors in the monet theming which looks amazing. Instead of this lots of the font styles, system icon shapes, signal icons, Wi-Fi icons are available to choose. ROM has the OnePlus setting, I think most of you knows about this. I will not discuss it in detail but it has some settings like the media mute volume. Automatic brightness, DC dimming, system vibration strengths like unique settings. We have wallpaper and style setting in the main setting. As the ROM has a third party sushi launcher, we will not get the pixel stock wallpapers here, but we get the bunch of the inbuilt wallpapers. It has the theme icon, which is not only themes the home screen icons, but also themes the whole drawer icons. In the display setting, we get the live display setting to tune the color of your display. In the system setting, we get the new option called as the Rise Droid Lab which has some experimental toggles like the Allo application to downgrade, ignore windows, secure flag, etc. Now let's check out some visual changes. First is the volume panel has the new animation for the gear icon, new vertical notification sound controls, Allo slider has the Oxono style new indicators for the ring and the vibration modes. In the settings you will see some animated pictures representing the settings. Let's check out the performance of the ROM. As I'm already told in the intro this ROM is highly customizable but still it is one of the best performing ROM similar to the nameless OS. Apps opening and the closing scrolling is super fast in the ROM. RAM management is also very good. To check out the performance numerically I ran the Geekbench test and I got the score of 505 for the single core and for multi core I got the score of 2034. This is not higher than the nameless OS but still it is very good score. If you test the open gel drives we got the score of 2255 and for the Hulkan graphics I got the score of 1851. So ROM is performing pretty well as I am using this ROM from the one week I can say it is really very good performer even though it's very highly customizable ROM. Next question arises in your mind is that how is the battery life. So if your average user who has replaced their batteries will get the 20 to 24 hours of standby and 4 to 6 hours of SOT as per your usage. Because of highly customizable nature and some misbehaving things like the Android system you may not get the best battery like Cyberia or Awakon OS but it's pretty good. You get the Rise Droid Idle Manager toggle which helps to improve the battery life to the some extent. The last question that we will ask what are the bugs. So the ROM didn't have any bugs but the OK Google voice activation still not working for me. But the side effect of this toggle when enabled like the lag in the videos or the music playback not seen by me in any of the videos or the music playbacks. But you can use the root method given in iCard video to enable the OK Google along with the pixel launcher if in any case you don't like the sushi launcher. So what is my final verdict? ROM is very smooth, it's highly customizable with its own different look, having the good battery life and the weekly support of Optimus Prime. So definitely I recommend this ROM as my first choice as compared to any of the ROM available out there. So that's it for today guys. If you think I help you then please do like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.